The invoke functions enable you to schedule a function call after some specified time delay. This allows us to build a useful method call system that is time sensitive. Here we have a scene in Unity with an empty game object. The game object has an invoke script attached to it. In the invoke script, we have a public game object named target. We also have a method named spawn object. The spawn object method simply instantiates the target object at the position 0, 2, 0. In the start method, we call the function invoke. The invoke function takes two parameters, a string containing the name of the method we wish to call, and an amount of time to delay in seconds. We can see from this line of code that after two seconds, the spawn object method will be called. It is worth noting that only methods which take no parameters and have a return type of void can be called using invoke. Back in Unity, let's run our scene. We can see that after two seconds, an orb is instantiated and falls to the ground. This is useful for calling methods a single time, but what if we wanted to call a method repeatedly? This can be easily done using the invoke repeating function. Here in our scene, we have the same empty game object. This time, however, there is an invoke repeating script attached to it. In the invoke repeating script, we can see that things are laid out almost exactly the same as in the invoke script. We still have a public game object named target, and we still have a spawn object method. The spawn object method in this script still instantiates the target object, but now it does so in a random x and z position. In the start method, we have a call to the invoke repeating function. This function takes three arguments a string containing the name of the method we wish to call, the delay in seconds before it calls the method, and a delay in seconds between each subsequent call of the method. We can see from this line of code, the spawn object will be called after two seconds, and then be called again every one second. Let's see this in action. In Unity, we can run our scene. We will see that after two seconds, an orb gets instantiated. Then, Every one second, another orb is created. This will keep going infinitely and fill our entire scene with orbs. Obviously, it is important to know how to stop a method we have called with the invoke repeating function. In order to stop all instances of an invoked call from this script, we can use the cancel invoke method. If we wish to only stop a specific invoke, we can pass in a string containing the name of the method we wish to stop.